conditions to raise our minds and hearts out of the Trinity and to fix them on a respectful, loving attention. So since you journey with us on the path of eternal life, do not be a stranger to the verbal beast. Your charity is within the shot. Turn your merciful gaze towards us. Draw us into your brilliance. Shower us with your kindness. Lead us into the light and into love. Lead us ever further and higher into the splendors of heaven. Let nothing ever trouble our peace, nor make us leave the thought of God. But let each man take us further into the depths of the youngest mystery until the day when our souls will be blossomed by the light of divine union. We'll see all things. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. <coughs> Jesus, Son of God, Savior, have mercy on me, a sinner. Jesus, Son of God, Savior, have mercy on me, a sinner. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. Oh, wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. <coughs> Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight, I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. <coughs> Did you love truth in the heart? Then in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. Oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. Oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins, turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. Let your heart create for me, O God, put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. Oh, oh rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor desire, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with love 
full sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Jesus, Son of God, Savior, have mercy on me, a sinner. The Lamb will conquer them, for He is Lord of Lords and King of Kings. <coughs> o God, You have rejected us and broken us. <coughs> you have been angry, come back to us. You have made the earthquake torn it open. Repair what is shattered for its waste. You have inflicted hardships on your people and made us drink a wine that they stuck. You have given us to fear you a signal to flee from the enemy's woe. O oh, come and deliver your friends. Help with your right hand and reply. From his holy place, God has made this promise. I will triumph and divide the land of Shechem. I will measure out the valley of Sechem. Gilead is mine and Manasseh. Ephraim I take for my helmet. Judah for my commander's staff. Moab I will use for my watchful. Amidah I will bend my shield. Over the Philistines I will shout in triumph. But who will lead me to conquer the fortress? Who will bring me face to face with Edom? Will you actually reject us, O God, and no longer march with our armies? Give us help against the foe, for the help of men is me. With God we shall do bravely, and He will trample down our foes. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The Lamb will conquer them, for He is Lord of Lords and King of Kings. From His fullness we have all received grace upon grace. To you our praise is due in Zion, O God. To you we pay our vows, you who hear our prayer. You, all flesh, will come with its burden of sin to pay for us our offenses, but you wipe them away. Blessed is he whom you choose and call to dwell in your courts. We are filled with the blessings of your house, of your holy temple. You keep your pledge with wonders, O God, our Savior, the hope of all the earth and of our distant isles. You uphold the mountains with your strength. You are girded with power. You still the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the tumult of the peoples. The ends of the earth stand in awe. At the sight of your wonders, the lands of sunrise and sunset, you fill with your joy. You care for the earth, give it water, you fill it with riches. Your river 
rain heaven brims over to provide its grain. And thus you provide for the earth, you trench its furrows. You level its top <coughs> and it with showers, you bless its growth. You crown the air with your goodness, abundance flows in your steps. In the pastures of the wilderness it flows. The hills are girded with joy, the meadows covered with floods. The valleys are attacked with wheat, they shout for joy as they sing. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. From His fullness we have all received grace upon grace. <coughs> Lord, to whom shall we go? Truly with you God is hidden, the God of Israel, the Savior. Those are put to shame and disgrace, who vent their anger against him. Those who go in disgrace, who climb the mountains. Israel, you are saved by the Lord, saved forever. You shall never be put to shame or disgrace in future ages. For thus says the Lord, the creator of the heavens and the sky, the designer and maker of the earth who established it, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it to be lived in. I am the Lord, and there is no other. I am not spoken from hiding, nor from some dark place of the earth. And I have not said to the descendants of Jacob, Look for me in an empty waste. I, the Lord, promise justice. I foretell what is right. Come and assemble, <coughs> gather together. You fugitives from among the Gentiles. They are without knowledge, you bear wooden idols, and praise you that that cannot see. Come here and declare in council together. Who announced this from the beginning, and foretold it from of old? Was it not I, the Lord, besides whom there is no other God? There is no just and saving God but me. Turn to me and be safe, all you hands of the earth. For I am God, there is no other. By myself I swear, uttering my just decree and my unalterable word. Saying only in the Lord <coughs> are just deeds and power. Before him in shame shall come, all who vent their anger against him. In the Lord shall be the vindication and the glory of all the descendants of Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Lord, to whom shall we go? His face was like the sun, shining in full strength. O oh God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, 
and all nations learn your saving help. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and exalt, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples, <coughs> you guide the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its fruit. For God, our God, has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing to the ends of the earth we hear him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. His face was like the sun, shining in full strength. From the letter to the Ephesians. Never let evil talk pass your lips. Say only the good things men need to hear, things that will really help them. Do nothing that will sadden the Holy Spirit with whom you were sealed against the day of redemption. Get rid of all bitterness, all passion and anger, harsh words, slander, and malice of every kind. In place of these, be kind to one another compassionate and mutually forgiving, just as God has forgiven you in Christ. You are the light of the world. Let your light shine before men that they may see the, your good works and give glory to your heavenly Father. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us the mighty Savior. Born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship Him without fear, holy and righteous in the sight of the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called a prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way, to give His people knowledge of salvation, by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. You are the light of the world. Let your light shine before men, that they may say your good words and give glory to your heavenly Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray as we celebrate anew the memorial of the Virgin, Saint Scholastica. We pray, O Lord, that following her example, we may serve you with pure love and happily receive what comes from loving you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. O shining star of the Church, who reflect the Father's light, by revealing to us the mystery of the Word, eternal fruit of His bosom, source of all life and of all truth, O beloved disciple of the Word made flesh, who at the Last Supper rested your head upon His heart, drawing the secrets of the Father's beloved Son and of the Savior of all, O beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received the treasure of the heart of Jesus crucified, thus becoming the witness of his wounded heart, we beseech you, despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, our infidelities, to be our Father, that we may be true sons of the Father, living by his light and by the ardor of the wounded heart of the other people's under the life-giving guidance of the Spirit Paraclete, in Mary, Mother, Mother of Jesus. Amen. Angelus Domini Nuncia Vit Mariae, et concepite Spiritus Santo, ecce ancilla Domini, viat mihi secundum verbum tu, Et verbum caro factum est. Et habitavit in nobis. Ave Maria, <coughs> gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus. Et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Ora pro nobis Santa Dei Genitrix, ut ignia ficiamur promissionibus Christi, Oremus, gratiam tuam quesumus domini mentibus nostris infundi, ut qui angelo non siante, Christi finitu incarnazione coniovimus, per passione meius et crucem, ad resurrectionis gloriam perducamur, perium dem Christum dominum nostrum. Amen. 